on today's episode of Alaska Cabin Adventures. back to Alaska Cabin Adventures, everybody. Today is day one of building my new cabin. I couldn't be more excited about it. And the first thing that I'm gonna have to do is get this shed out of the way. That's gonna be the perfect spot for the guest cabin. And I wanna move it over there by the woodshed. And uh, it's gonna be tricky. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm gonna kind of be figuring out as I go. For the newcomers to the channel, I'm gonna be building a 10 by 12 cabin. It's gonna be a little bunkhouse for friends and family to stay when they come out and visit and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's do it. One of the big problems here is that there's a huge stump sitting right where I wanna put the shed. So rather than sit there with a pickaxe and whatnot, I think I'm gonna to try to remove it with my truck, but first I'm gonna take a sawzall, cut away all the roots so it's a little bit easier to rip out. Well, like so many things, I've never done this before. A little bit dangerous, but I feel pretty good about what I'm doing. So anyway, we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. So a couple things I wanna say real quick is that I'm using a really heavy duty chain and I'm also gonna hook it up to um, the tow hitch of the truck, but not the ball of the truck. You never want to hook up something and pull really hard load on the ball of a pickup hitch. Uh, it can shear off and send the ball flying. So you actually want to hook it to the, the, the chain hooks that are on the hitch itself. Here goes nothing. Me one, stump zero. All right, well that stump removal went better than expected, so it's time to move on to the next step, which is gonna be another daunting task for someone like me, and that's gonna be removing this uh, big cottonwood tree right here. That cottonwood already has a pretty good lean on it, and I don't wanna be putting my shed right up next to a tree that's already leaning and one day will need to be cut down, so I'm gonna get rid of it, then probably use the truck again to rip out the stump. This is probably one of the biggest trees I've ever tried to cut down. The catch is when a tree is leaning one way and you're trying to get it to fall another way, it definitely is, well, tricky. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Chainsaws are the most dangerous tool in the shed. I got Kevlar chaps on. I'm gonna wear ear protection. I'm gonna wear my eye protection. I'm gonna wear gloves. And I'm gonna take it slow and just make sure I don't mess myself up. All right, so here's the tree. And uh, you can see from back here, it's got a real good left lean. So the tree's wanting to go this way right now. I'm gonna to try to make it go that way in between the cabin and the shed. We'll see what happens.
I don't know. I'll admit I'm really nervous. If this tree goes the wrong direction, it could crush the shed. Because it's a cabin. It could kill me. But uh, I've already committed now. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. This is terrifying. See what that wind is wanting to pull it. There it goes. Come on, baby. Yeah! Woo! Woo! -hoo! Yeah! Oh, I'm telling you guys what. The wind has been blowing this direction all day. And just there, right when I took that wedge out, the first wind of the whole day just came in from this way and it blew that tree straight down where I wanted it to. All right. Whew, well, it's time for a beer. That was really nerve wracking. Like I said, I'm uh, no lumberjack. I haven't fallen a tree that big in my life and one that big that was leaning the wrong direction and leaning at my shed and within reach of the cabin. If it was to the right, you can see it would have hit the cabin even just by a few more feet. Anyway, to see that tree go down exactly where I wanted it to, oh, feels good. So I'm gonna drink this beer and take it easy for a minute and get ready for my next step. Cheers, y'all. Well, some of you probably noticed my uh, Husqvarna chainsaw was not sharp when I was doing the first cuts on that tree. Luckily, I had my still finish the job. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna take the downtime here to sharpen up the chain on my husk and uh, get it working again. A sharp chain on your chainsaw is like night and day. Just chews through the wood and you can tell if it's dull because it'll start to just have like a sawdust kind of stuff shoot out instead of big nice chips of wood. And it'll get to the point where it's almost just burning the wood, not even cutting it, it's so dull. Anyway, I got a few of these uh, little chainsaw files and it's pretty simple what you do. You just uh, put the file in the tooth and the trick here is making sure that you're at the correct angle. All right, so if you look carefully on the chain here, you can see that this is where the tooth is. You see this notch right here kind of has an angle to it. You wanna have your file go with that angle, not like this. Have it try to match that angle and just go through. One, two, maybe three times. And then you'll notice at the inside edge Looks nice and shiny and sharp. Well, I was really hoping to pull that stump out tonight, but I just looked at my clock and it's 10 o'clock at night and I haven't eaten dinner or really lunch for that matter. And uh, I think I'm exhausted. So it's definitely quitting time because the mosquitoes are out. Anyway, overall, great day. I feel good about all the progress that I made. I wanted to uh, document this so that all you folks at home who are wanting to build your own cabin or do an off-grid kind of thing, hopefully documenting this whole experience will give you uh, encouragement and hopefully a few tips and insight along the way. 
But uh, more than anything, it's just about deciding you're gonna do something and then doing it. Good morning, everybody. I woke up to the sound of rain on the cabin roof this morning, so it might be a soggy day, but oh well. Uh, the good news is, is I got a call from my friend Forrest Wilson, and he is going to come up and join me for the day, and he's going to help me get this shed moved. If you guys don't know Forrest already, uh, me and him co-write and record a lot of the music that you hear on this channel. Anyway, I'm going to get a cup of coffee going and get to work. Well, look what the cat dragged in. This one doesn't want to budge. Get it. Yeah, there you go. All right, things are getting real now. We got Tim Johnson, Mr. Truckhouse Live here. And uh, he's got his camper and truck. And then I've got my truck. And we're going to both hook up to this stump and see if two trucks can't pull this stump out because so far we can't get this thing to go. And uh, I think it's partly because it's frozen in the ground and it's just got a massive root system down in there. So anyway, we're gonna see if uh, two trucks are better than one. Let's go, go until you get tension and then come back like from one. Hold it. Quarter to four, and uh, that shed still hasn't moved. All right, so we're gonna use these posts as uh, skids for the shed. So we'll jack the shed up and put them on this, and then that way we can slide it around. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing that these guys showed up because this would have been, I think, nearly impossible by myself.
right, now we're rotating the shed with a pulley off this tree and bringing it this way. Well, we're taking a short break here. The rain just started pouring, absolutely dumping. So we're also exhausted. It's like, what time is it now? 6.30. The shed was there. And now it's there. It's gonna back it up a little bit closer to the woodshed. And we'll be good to go. We did it. <laughs> All right, now we just gotta get this thing back onto the pier blocks that it was originally sitting on. So that hopefully won't be too hard. All right, so we've got the front of it lifted way up and we're trying to get the pier blocks up underneath. And, but that's hard to do because by the time the pier block and the bracket gets up underneath there, it uh, has to get way high. So anyway, that's what we're working on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. We didn't know exactly where the shed was gonna end up given how hard it is to like maneuver it exactly. So we didn't dig these areas out and make level building spots before we moved it. So now we're trying to kind of get up underneath and do some makeshift pads for the, the uh, cinder blocks. But luckily it's just a shed, so it doesn't really matter if it's perfect. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna watch this side. We got all four cinder blocks underneath with the brackets on the beams and uh, we're gonna check and see how level it is. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> That's good enough for a shed. All right, y'all, phase one of the cabin build is complete. Move the shed out of the way so we can build the cabin where the shed was. So uh, couldn't have done it without Forrest and Tim. I'm glad I didn't try to do this alone. Anyway, it looks good and it's better off. It's up higher off the ground, which means it'll be easier to keep the snow cleared from it. All right, it's time for some beer and hot stew. Going inside, we're soaking wet and muddy. I'm done. Well, that was an absolutely insane day. But I gotta say, it feels good to know that the shed has moved and the spot for building the new cabin is ready to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna clean up around the property and get the cabin nice and clean. Before I start building this cabin, I want to make sure that everything's really picked up and organized really well. Once you start bringing in lots of new materials and lumber and things like that, uh, it gets cluttered really quick. A uh, building project is just one huge mess until it's done. And so I'm going to try to have everything just as squared away as possible before that. Anyway, I'm going to get the cabin looking nice, get the outside looking nice, and try to enjoy the sun a little bit. So first things first, I'm going to eat a breakfast.
right guys, I spent the afternoon organizing my tool shed. And even though it might look like a mess, I actually know exactly where everything is. And it's all in places that I want it to be. Got my chainsaw and climbing equipment over there. I even went ahead and laid out all my tools, so that way I can just come grab what I need as I get building. And then I've got all my batteries under there. I'm gonna get a whole charging station set up. So I'm always got batteries on the charge while we're working. And uh, here's all my bits and screws and tape and glue and things like that organized. And then I got my compressor, buckets and nails, framing hammer, all my stuff, random materials like uh, flooring and roofing materials, some fishing rods and bow and arrow, all my jacks over here. No trespassing. And uh, yeah, just tried to hang as much stuff as I could. Try to get everything up in its right place so at least I can find it. Put away my snowshoes for the year. All right guys, well the property's all cleaned up. The shed's moved and in its new place. Trees are out of the way, stumps are out of the way. And now we've got a nice, awesome spot to put the new cabin. So in the next episode, we're gonna break ground and uh, put the foundation in and start building. I'm really excited. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. It's gonna be a really fun summer of building projects. Anyway, I think I got a nice cleanly start to everything. Everything feels right and put away. So I'm gonna go into town and start buying some lumber and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Alaska Cabin Adventures.